Hello good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we're going to be talking about the IFHE rework and how it has or in some ways hasn't really affected the game all that much. And there are some good things in this rework and some bad things, but I'm going to go over what I've experienced thus far. And I know on Friday I mentioned I was playing Small Insk and Kerr first trying to get a feel for both sides of the rework. Um, also threw Des Moines and Salem in there because I forgot that their armor got buffed and I gotta say after playing Des Moines and Salem they feel a lot more comfortable now than they used to. Um, used to you used to be able to just be blasted by battleships from it felt like almost any angle and uh, you ate some pins from some heavy cruisers and some super cruisers that you know you kind of felt a little cheated on but it feels much better now those two ships for sure those two ships came out on top for the rework. Now, the Gneisenau and Kerr first definitely came out on top two because their secondary guns, all of them now can pin 32 millimeters of armor. And as you guys saw in Saturday's video in my GK where I got like 90,000 damage from my secondaries in a match, that, that, whoo, that's a nice pickup there with them. Now, the small lens, everyone's favorite HG catapult. How's it doing in the rework? Well, it's, I don't know, I feel like the Smolensk got a mixed bag out of it. One, it's basically forced all Smolensk small captains to build into just a flamethrower build. Because before you could get, like, what was it, 28 millimeters of pin on it, so you could get a decent amount of of pins from um, the HG shells simply because you could just throw so many of them out, and when you can pin 28 millimeters of armor, you know, you can't pin everything at tier 10, but there's plenty there that you, that you can. And now that that threshold's been lowered, it's, you know, I don't think it's really affected that much. If anything, I feel like it's just made it rely on RNGesus a little bit more uh, than before. Because, I don't know about y'all, but with me, I don't. I think RNGesus just hates me. Because every time I play Small Lens, again, you guys saw this on stream the other night, it's just like, I get like the lowest fire chance possible. I have all the flags on. I have a 9% chance of starting a fire per shell on the small nits. You're throwing 16 shells every uh, three, three and a half seconds. And it's just like you'll get 200 shell hits and only two fires. And then the other guy right next to you will be on like his 15th fire on, and he's on like 200 shell hits too. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's highly dependent upon that now. Um, but it is still good at that. I mean, yeah starting one one fire per 100 shells at a minimum at least that seems to be my luck you know you're still gonna set up a good amount of fires if you manage to stay alive for the duration of the match so it's still you know a damage farmer and it's a little more frustrating to use it's not as easy as before where you could just kind of spam shells everywhere and still get decent damage you do have to hope that you set fires now uh, more so than you used to but um, on the receiving end of Spalinsk, it's not as gut-wrenching as before. Because now you do know you can at least manage the damage. Because my whole problem with Spalinsk was before is that there was almost nothing you could do to mitigate the damage coming from it. And again, it still depends on what ship you're using and all this and that. But now that you just have to mainly worry about fires because they won't be pinning you as much, again, depending upon what ship you're using. You can mitigate that damage a little bit more by timing your heals and your damage cut. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but being on the receiving end of small lens is a lot better than it used to be. Uh, but still, if you're still surrounded by two or more, well, yeah, just two of these ships, and it'd be small lens, Wooster, any other HE throwy ship, you know, you're not gonna have a good time. You guys saw on stream last night, I got absolutely melted in a Kremlin because there was a small Insko booster and a Harugamon in front of me, all hiding behind the same island, mind you, and I just got freaking melted, and like, I think I lasted maybe, maybe two minutes, and that was just because it's Kremlin, and it's like the best battleship in the game to handle HE spam. So, the other ships, the ships that, that did not come out on top so much, a lot of tier 7 ships got shafted. Especially ships like the Atlanta and the Flint, they are pretty much useless now they lost their god tier aa and the cv rework and now they've lost the benefits of having ifhe so those ships they god um 
yeah, rip to them. Because even after you lost your AA, um, you got to your AA in the seed rework, Atlanta and Flint, you know, you could still, you know, they, they, they were still Docker machines, and now not so much. So they got hit pretty hard by that. So, I mean, I know it's an HE spammy ships, but, you know, I, I have a feeling, I have a feelings for older ships in the game. And Atlanta and Flint, when you look back up on them and compare them to what we have now, they really aren't that bad compared to some of the ships that we have now. But, yeah, that, that's, that's, they really got a raw, a raw end to this deal. So overall, how is the IFHE re rework? I, I think that pretty much sums it up. It's some good, some bad. It's kind of a mixed bag. I mean, I feel like a couple of ships still need more tweaking. Oh, I forgot to talk about the armor change on the smallness. Duh, my bad. Uh, before we get into the ending summer, uh, summarization, we have the armor changes on the smallness going from 30 millimeters of side armor to 16 millimeters of side armor. How's that affecting it now? And well, again, like I was just saying, it kind of feels like a mixed bag because it seems like smallness seems to be exploding more. Um, I played it, and there are times I was broadside onto battleships, and I thought for sure they were going to overpin me, especially with the now decreased side armor. But man, they absolutely just nuked the hell out of me. Um, and the feelings mutual with me playing a battleship fighting small lens. They seem to be exploding more. Which, I'm not sure if maybe they changed something else and didn't announce it, but... I don't know, they just seem to be more exploding now. And I'm talking about like just wiping its health out, like going full on like 20,000, 30,000 salvos on it. I'm not getting detonations or anything, I'm just straight up just annihilating them now. Now, it's not every single salvo, but compared to before where it was just overpin, overpin, bounce, overpin, overpin, bounce, you know, it's it feels like more straight on pins now. And again, I don't know if I'm just getting lucky with my shell hits now all of a sudden or if something actually changed that like maybe they tweaked some of the uh, some other armor values that they didn't tell us about or something with the Citadel I don't know but they do seem to be more squishy now they seem to be exploding more but on the flip side too I've heard that like even heavy heavy cruisers are over them now I haven't experienced that and I've played um as, as you guys saw last on um, Saturday's video Played Stalingrad, blasted one from like six, seven kilometers away, and absolutely destroyed it. Yeah, I got a couple overpins, but I mean, I still citadel the thing. So again, I'm not sure if it's just my luck it's changed all of a sudden, or if they've tweaked something else, or it really is just for some reason because they decreased the armor from 16 millimeters. Maybe it's I don't know, it's arming on the 16 millimeters and then exploding on the citadel for some reason. I, I get, I don't know. But they just seem to be a bit more squishy than before and more exploding. Now, playing the small lens, I mean, it's pretty much that experience too. I'm eating more pins from battleships, but again, I'm, I don't know if I'm just getting unlucky now in small lens or, or what, but it seems to be a common thing between. I play like, I think like 10 or 12 small lens games. I was getting a feel for it and then uh, about. Uh, seven games in GK, a couple in Yami, and then um, four, uh, four or five games in Des Moines and and um, Salem, and of course Smolensk is still everywhere right now. I think it's actually the, I've run into more Smolensk now before uh, n uh, now than before the IFHE changes because there's like freaking six a game now all of a sudden, and it, again across the board playing Des Moines, playing Stalingrad, playing Yami playing Kerr first, it seems to be more explodey. Again, don't know if that's just my RNG picking it up for all those times I got screwed over trying to shoot at Smolensk or, or what, but that seems to be the case now. But again, have heard that some heavy cruisers are repenting it, haven't really had that experience for myself, but yeah. So anyway, all in all, the IFHE re re rework. It does seem to be a mixed bag. Because at higher tier, not that much has really changed at tier 10 and tier 9 from from what I've been seeing. Um, battleships seem to be willing to push a little bit more now. And, you know, I mostly play on the weekends, so I've gone from having games where nobody wants to push, where it seems like more people are willing to push. But it's not like, the, you know, everyone's just going for it now. It just seems, you know, maybe one or two people are, more, are willing to push per game than it used to be. Because... 
for the past like month, well more than month, like two or three months, people have been extremely passive. So I'm not sure if people think that it's making a bigger impact than it actually is, or what at higher tier. But it seems to be somewhat positive at high at high tier. Now at tier seven, I don't play there a lot, but from hearing uh, reading what a lot of you tier, uh, mid tier guys are posting in Discord and just perusing through YouTube and the forums. Tier 7 really seems to have gotten hit pretty hard, and you know, those guys are already getting up tier to tier 9. I know a lot of those cruiser players and destroyer players really depend upon IFHA to kind of, you know, give them a fighting chance when you get up tier to tier 9, but they really seem to have been hit hard, like with the Atlanta and the Flint. Uh, lower tier, I don't know. I don't play below tier, like, 6 often. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on there, but I'm assuming it's probably more of what we've seen at tier 7, but tier 7 really got shafted with this from what I've seen and heard. And again, it still needs some work, but overall, it's I'd say generally a positive change. Right now, and again, they'll probably, they'll probably come in and tweak a couple of things, like always with these uh, big changes, like we saw the CV rework. So we'll see where that goes. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. I'm getting very close to our halfway point of 9,000 subs. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday, and hope to catch all of you guys in the next one.